So I recently put out a degree on the channel Facebook page saying that when Belgium is reconquered, everyone who's a top fan will get a province. But then I was alerted to something. The flag of Antwerp. And oh boy, that's what we're going to talk about today. So Antwerpen is a province in... Zuid Nederland, in the very north of the country, bordering on the Netherlands as well, as you can see here with all the other provinces of Belgium shown. Now there are other ways that we can split Belgium, of course as I mentioned in my video about why Belgium is so divided, we have the two main regions of Flanders or Flandern in the north and Wallonia in the south, with then Brussels being the nice light blue section there. And then of course, very much along these lines, we have the linguistic divide in Belgium with the Flemish speakers in the north, the mixed area of Brussels, the Wallons, so the more French speakers in the south, and then also the two German regions of Erpen and Malmedy in the very east of the country. There's also the part of Belgium that rightfully belongs to the Netherlands. The province of Antwerp is named after the city, which is just nine miles to the south of the Dutch border and about 25 miles north of the capital city of Brussel. And the city is a really nice one if you ever get the chance to visit. It's on the Schelt River mouth, which leads out into the North Sea. And actually, Antwerp has quite an interesting etymology as a place name. Now, legend says that there was a giant there called Antichorn and that this giant, you know, was really mean and that when people went down the river, he'd cut off their hands and throw them into the river until a hero comes along and cuts off the giant's own hand and throws that into the river. And that you therefore get the name Antwerp from Hontwerp, which is hand throw in Dutch, uh, or Hontwerpen actually in Dutch. Antwerp is the, the shortened uh, English version of Antwerpen, which is the, the real longer name. However, modern etymologists think this is probably a folklorish explanation for the etymology and favor rather that it came from anda verpum, which means anda is at in older Dutch and verpum at the wharf. So and verf in modern Dutch and verp, it kind of shortened to that being on the wharf as it was an important harbor city, which makes sense. For most of the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, it was a very important center of culture as well as very important for trade, both international and regional. And for some old viewers of mine, I often mentioned in the my Tudor videos, the cloth trade, the Flemish cloth trade, well, most of that went through Antwerpen. So it was a very important center on the North Sea uh, through the Schelt, obviously, in the Low Countries, part of the Duchy of Brabant. And then it was fought over during the Dutch revolt against the Spanish. And finally, it was incorporated into the glorious kingdom of the Netherlands before seceding with the Belgians in 1830. But back to the flag. Why on earth did they choose this design? Well, it was actually adopted in 1996. So you might be saying, well, let us please go back to the design that was in place before 1996. Well, I'll tell you why that isn't a good idea. No, I'll actually do better. I'll show you. Yes, this is why we can't go back to what we had before, because this was the design of the flag of Antwerpen from before 1996, which was adopted in 1928, when they were told as a province you need to have an actual flag rather than just using the heraldic square banners, which were used quite a lot and are actually really nice. I think that would be a better solution than the one we've got now. So why did they choose these colors? Well, that's because of the three main cities in the province of Antwerpen. Of course, we have Antwerpen itself, Mechelen, and Turnhout. And the colors of Antwerpen are red and white, which they have on their flag of the city, that is. The colors of Mechelen are wet, yellow and red, and the colors of Turnhout are blue and white. So let's think, we've got red, we've got white, we've got blue and yellow. Oh wait, hold on a second, go back. I think that's quite a good flag. What do you guys think? I think this is great. I think this will be the flag of Antwerpen in the future anyway, right? You know, with the whole southern expansion. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. Do you think the flag of Antwerp is alright? Or would you like to have a go at designing your own flag? You can always email me at historywithhilbert at gmail.com 
and show me your designs or send them to me in a Facebook message, which I should have got around to answering at this point if you have sent me stuff there, or on Instagram or Twitter. I think that's all of the ones we have. Um, so yeah, just, just let me know what you think. Uh, and please, please don't take this video too seriously. This was meant to be a light-hearted video. I'm not actually for invading Belgium. I am just joking. This is continental banter. If you're Belgian or Dutch, you probably understand. It's what we do with each other. We have an entire series or genre of jokes in the Netherlands called Belgemoppa, which are about Belgians where we, you know, take the piss out of each other. But really, we love each other, really. I really like Belgium. I've met several Belgians. They're all really lovely. Um, I'm definitely not for invading, unless, of course, it's the right time. Uh, but yeah, essentially this is just a little bit of fun. Please don't take anything too seriously in this video. Um, and do let me know what you thought, what you think of the flag of Antwerpen, and if you'd like to have a go at designing your own. So anyway, I'm not even going to say this was history. There was a bit of history in here. This was mostly tomfoolery. And of course, I'm Hilbert. Who else would make this kind of terrible video? I'll see you all soon.